Hey, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com Monday, January 26th. Your day planner features increasing clouds. We'll see highs into the 20s, and we also have some snow spreading in. It was a cool morning over the far eastern UP. Single digits below zero in some of our favorite cool spots out there into the interior east. But uh, elsewhere, we actually saw temperatures on the rise through the overnight warmest. As you can see over the western UP with pretty substantial cloud cover there. Teens, a little cooler under central UP. Six a popular number over much of central UP. We had some breaks in the clouds there, but the clouds will continue to fill in. And as we can look over the western UP, some snow has just slowly been wavering over places like Ironwood and eventually is going to spread through west and central upper Michigan along this latest low. Here you can see that thing diving fairly quickly southward and eastward, so that's spreading snow fairly quickly over south and central Wisconsin, but it's not making a lot of eastward progress, at least quite yet. Here's what's left of that high pressure ridge, which meant clear skies through the overnight, and that's what led to a chilly start to the day on the eastern UP. Of course, here's this big low pressure system. Thing is taking shape nicely. It may not look like much right now, but this thing is really going to bottom out and strengthen as it works up the uh, Atlantic coastline. Of course, that's going to tap into abundant moisture off of the Atlantic Ocean and toss it all as snow blizzard warnings for those guys there. So nothing too crazy for us. We have some light snow spreading in. It's a south wind though, and that may actually bring some lake and hand snowfall over places like Alger, uh, Delta and Schoolcraft County. So we we'll have to watch for that. But generally, this is uh, not an impressive dose of snow. Maybe a morning snowflake into your Tuesday morning over the Keweenaw Peninsula. But all in all, we have this big ridge of high pressure, which means generally tranquil conditions. I think there'd be some cloud cover stuck under a temperature inversion. Otherwise, though, we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds. Eventually, we do see an increasing south wind Tuesday night into your Wednesday ahead of the next system. Mainly cloudy today. Highs will be running through the 20s, warmest over the western UP. And again, watch for some potential for some lake enhancement. Temperatures are just right uh, where we're getting that chance for some limited lake effect snow. But we do have a, a dry forecast over the far eastern UP under increasingly cloudy skies. Tonight, we start to see some clearing over the west end. We keep a threat for a snowflake in. Not going to amount to much at all. The heaviest of the snow, which is not all that heavy, is going to be pulling away. Coolest over the eastern UP, single digits, teens and 20s as we look elsewhere. So rolling through the timeline, you know, certainly by this afternoon, we're seeing some limited accumulation. Any secondary or side street, maybe snow cover, but we're only picking up one to perhaps locally up to three inches of snow with some lake enhancement there, especially over Delta County and less than an inch accumulation as we look east, even into the overnight. The TV six day forecast, a new system develops late Wednesday into your Thursday. There'd be some I think there'd be better snow with that one two to perhaps up to six inches of snow there. And then we cool back down with some lake effect Thursday and Friday. It is going to turn bitterly cold with the potential for the coldest air of the season arriving by Sunday into Monday next week. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.